Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Eco Global Survival, another multiplayer server started by me. So I'm about half an hour out from uh, actually letting anybody else on the server. I just popped in to get a little head start. You know, I just have my tent down, I'm still going through the tutorial, it's all good. So I made the world a little smaller this time. So we had a way bigger world than we needed last time. Right, this isn't all that big. I think it should be big enough and it's basically all one continent this time because having the bridge across continents last time kind of sucked so i'm hoping the smaller world will be better um looks like we got a good uh solid group of people that are going to come in we got good numbers if you do want to join though links in the description down below to my discord you can get the info for the server there um so i'm just kind of setting up shop here for now i'm thinking this area here is going to be my base because i'm going to be a smelter it's one of the first things I'm going to take, mining and dismelting. So we want to be near the desert so we can get iron nice and early. And then we want to be near water so we can use that for water, water wheel power. And you can see right here, there's a waterfall right here. Because um, as of the 9.4 update, waterfalls give even more power than, than normal rivers. You can't put water wheels in the air anymore. They don't even work in the ocean. They need running water. So we got running water here that flows into a waterfall so we will be putting our water wheels here and we should get lots of power from them that way i don't know exactly how much so let's grab some food while we're up here and there's a bunch of new cooking recipes i know sunflower seeds now have a use apparently you make cheese out of sunflower seeds i don't know how that's possible i'm not going to question it i'm just going to nod my head and go with it um so yeah so we're going to set up here probably have our smelting area under where i'm standing right now so you can see our tent over there. So maybe make our house there. We'll make our workshop here. Um, hmm, do I have enough claims? Is that too big of a property? And anyway, we'll just leave our tent there for now. Maybe we'll start building our house here instead. It's flat. I went over there because it's a nice big flat area, but I'm thinking maybe here might be a better idea. And then, of course, as a smelter, we will need coal. And I believe there will be coal right in here. So that's not too far, right? We just need to build a road probably going right through here ish somewhere around there anyway and then eventually we'll need copper and gold hopefully we can find that under here so everything's pretty close and i'm also planning actually to be uh, in the oil business later in the game and there is a decent oil spot here it's a decent oil spot here right there right there you know there none of those are too far and, you know, somebody else might set up shop there on some of these spots. Some really good offshore spots there. That might be what we end up doing. Uh, but I got options. And none of them are, like, really good. That's probably the best one. But it's also right on the river. Somebody might want to build there. And I also don't want to build, you know, our farmers are probably going to want to be, you know, somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where. I'll have to see where our farmers set up because I don't want to pollute near where farms Ooh, some good, a good spot right there as well yeah like i said i got options for oil i got options for everything i should have everything i need of course that's the plan <laughs> for my profession path but i may deviate from it um so yeah it'll be mining smelting glass working advanced smelting oil drilling and then my sixth skill i'm flexible on i will take you know fill in a gap if we have any gaps i was thinking about possibly taking uh home too hungry to work well i know what to do about that eat um i was thinking about possibly taking basic engineering to help with road building early on because i did i actually enjoy doing the road building thing in the uh, last world but that's a decision i will make a little later i'll wait and see how many people i know we have at least one person planning to be an engineer um super early so i'll see how uh, they're making out on the roads and we'll go from there you know we might we're gonna do mining first for sure and we might pivot and take engineering second. Maybe. We will see. And then we'll go down with the rest of our plan from there. If we do do that. At any rate, I'm going to uh, just get a little you know, basic hot started here. And then uh, pretty soon we'll be letting uh, letting everybody else in. And then uh, chaos ensues. Should be good. I'll be back. All right. So this is what I got so far. A couple stockpiles. My shoebox is in the process of being built. Yeah, that's right. You know me. You know me and my shoeboxes. Starting with the shoebox. You got to start somewhere, right? You might as well start with a shoebox. Not sure why. Not sure why you should start with a shoebox, but that's what I'm doing, apparently. 
So let's uh, see if we can get it finished here and get a research table down. That's not where I want you. Oh, wow. Apparently that's where you want to go, though. Go there instead. So everything's uh, looking good. We got, I think, 10 people on right now. Let me take a quick gander. Let me get this handful of logs done first. Then I'll take a look at the servers. Server stats here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, yeah, so we got ten going here. We got Josh, Redneck, Kaz, Dark Jester, Phantom, Laser Kiwi, Lloyd Ron, me, Ro, and Team Priest. We are all living pretty close together. There's Phantom, there's Kaz, there's Priest, Redneck's there, Josh. Uh, this is Rose place. I'm not sure where Josh is actually set up. These are Kiwis over there. Um, Jester's there. I feel like I missed one person, but we're all pretty close together. <laughs> There's Lloyd Run. He's down there. So he, Lloyd's, Lloyd's a little separated from the rest of us. But everybody else is pretty much right around this, uh, this part of the world. But it'll be convenient for us. But we suck. It kind of forces everybody else to be close. Everybody else that comes in, because there are some more people coming in later. Um, they're like Pacific Time Zone type folks or whatever. Or they're working right now. So I'm hoping we'll have probably 15, 20 people day one, which is a good amount. Of course, some won't make it the whole 30 days, but we'll have some other people trickle in as we go. So yeah, so I'm uh, I'm happy with how it started so far. Let's uh, let's just leave this little gap so I can get at this. So I'm making the floor out of this kind of hewn log, right? You can tell it's just a little different color than the walls and the ceiling. But we're going to get this finished. We're going to get a research table down and we will start doing stuff. God, this is a tiny little shoe box. But you got to start somewhere, right? Do I got any hewn logs? Oh, I should probably cook up some more hewn logs, right? Probably a good idea. Oh, we can make a lot. Let's make 30 keep some wood available in case we need it for anything like research table needs all oh, the plant fibers and stone i just accidentally picked up <laughs> my tool bench that's why you don't walk around with your hammer i guess because you do stupid things like that when you do so we need what sickle right for tool bench so we need to go get some stone and probably some more wood. So I'm going to do that. We'll get some plant fibers. We'll get a research table on the go. We should probably build a door on this side. Not that it really matters. Anyway, that is the plan for right now. That is the progress report. Things are going well. I'm happy. Everybody else seems to be happy. It's all good. I'll be back. All right. So my little shoe box is done. I got a research table. I haven't actually researched anything yet. So just kind of... Doing a little odd jobs, like I'm clearing out this space because I know my smelting setup's going to go in here. Um, so basically all the clay that I found there, I dropped here. So right here, this stockpile is on the claim line. So this will be the road. I'm hoping I want to have a road going right through here, which is also why this started getting cleared out. Because if you come over here, you have a phantom right here. Josh is right here. He's got a bridge already built across. So to go road here, Phantom's got some ramps there down to him. Another bridge, you know, so this is going to be a major thoroughfare. Ooh, I almost screwed up that word. And then, of course, that stockpile you see there won't stay there. We'll get some ramps going up there. Because um, Redneck is building, I think, out here. Then we got Team Priest here. Bunch of other people. You got Chris Craft. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Oh, Tuple's on. Tuple's supposed to be our basic engineer, so uh, they're going to be very popular here very soon. We got Late Lord and Lady Entropy. So we got lots of folks. Um, YLL's on. Everything's looking good. Everything's coming together. Yeah, so I'm just going to continue to uh, make my way through here. How far do I have to dig here to really hook up with the guys in their road over here? Quite a bit. Yeah, so I'll have to keep digging. Either that or I can ramp up and then back down. But I'll probably just try to stay on this level, right? Will be the plan. I think that should be the way to go. That should be good. And yeah, that's where we're at. Server's starting to fill up. We got uh, most professions covered. 
then it should be good. I'm looking forward to uh, advancing here. And I should probably big, build a bigger house. Got some stockpiles on the roof. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I built the starter shoe box and I just, I haven't even done anything with it <laughs> yet. Right? So I got to figure out what, what my plan is here. I'm just kind of working on roads right now. But I will be back with an update soon. All right, things are going pretty well. I got this uh, road over to Josh and Phantom done. And that, I mean, that potentially opens up. Yeah, another road coming in here. Who stores this? Oh, row. I thought row store was over here. Oh, no, that's, uh, that's Redneck. But yeah, so this is going to give me access to a whole bunch of places. So that's good. I'm glad I did that. Now I got started on the hill as well. I also bought a cart. Just it's just a small cart. It doesn't hold a whole lot. I, we don't have a basic engineer yet, so we can't get the larger wood carts until that happens. Um, I know there's a couple people planning on taking it second, so it won't be till tomorrow, unfortunately. So I'm gonna build these ramps up this hill. Is my next task, I think. So probably expand my house soon because I'm planning to. Josh is a mason. He's going to make me some furniture. And I kind of guess need to have a house to put it in. Otherwise, it's not really much good. So maybe I'll try to double the size of this house. That way, at least I can have three rooms, even if they're incredibly tiny rooms. At least I'll have them or four rooms. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'll do that. That means a bunch more cutting down of trees, which is not my favorite thing. But there's some right over here. I guess I can bring my cart around. Can I get it through here? I guess I can make it a little easier. Big shovel mod in action. I highly recommend it. I'm not a big mod person generally in games, not just eco, but this big shovel, I don't think I can go with that but now that I used it. It's, yeah, it's pretty good. So now I can definitely get a cart through here. That's not what we want to do. That, that is. All right, so I'll bring the cart over here, gather up some of these trees, make them into hewn logs. Yeah, this this starter house, it's not even going to match. It's potentially going to have different colors of wood. I don't care. I just want to have a small little housing bonus to start. That's it. That's all that matters. Anyway, I'll be back. All right, the house expansion is complete. It's still ugly. I did make the roof. You know, actually look like a roof. <laughs> so it's slightly better looking. But yeah, there's four rooms now. They are pretty small. But uh, yeah, we got four rooms. We just need to put some furniture in here. And I mean, most of these rooms are only going to fit like a single piece of furniture right now. But I mean, that's it's it's something, right? It's a start. Then we'll get our workshop out here, smelting area back here. Now we're going to have to eventually start digging down for storage. We're going to have to dig down for iron. Obviously the desert is right there. We just got to dig down. Now Phantom's here. There's his iron mine there. Who's up here? Priest is there. So maybe I'll dig kind of down and then out. Hopefully strike iron somewhere under here. Under this high point, we can probably strike iron pretty easily. Maybe, hopefully, in theory. <laughs> yeah, this should work. That's the plan. Oh, yeah, look at this road coming in nicely. Oh, Row is going crazy. Row's, been, <laughs> Row's doing row things. That's to be expected at this point. Chris Crafts over there. Where'd the entropies land? Over here, I think. No, this is uh, Loidron, right? The entropies are over on this side. I don't know. I don't know this map anymore. There's Nameroninator. Of course, it wraps around, right? It's all one continent, pretty much. Oh, there's... Okay, no, though. That's Kiwi. Where's the entropies? I, I don't know. I saw them setting up shop somewhere, but now I can't find it. I apologize. Tufel is over here. Well, yeah, we can build. Yeah, no, it should be easy to get Tufel onto the road. should be easy to get almost everybody onto a road network this time. I was going to say I can run around and kind of take a look at people's houses, but, I mean, we're 
you know, four hours into the server, everybody's house is going to be pretty ugly right now. So we probably won't bother. Let's go take a look at this, the road as it is. We don't have an engineer right now, so we don't obviously have any stone roads. We don't even have a road tool, right? So the road is rough, but at least it exists, right, is the key. Oh, yeah, come down here. Oh, yeah, yeah, got the road all going here. Perfect. Oh, what's, oh, it's mortar stone. I was going to say that looks like stone roads. So I thought we didn't have a, an engineer, but we don't. So we come down here, and then uh, Rose Place is here. Yeah, right on the claim line. Perfect. Just what we wanted. Ooh, did I remember to claim my house? 29 days, 15 hours, 20 minutes on the Meteor. You are going down, Mr. Meteor. Or Miss Meteor. You know, who knows? Could be either way. The Meteor could swing both ways. You don't know. These bridges are nice. Nice and convenient. Feels good to be connected so early. All right. So now, I guess, start setting up the workshop, dig out the smelting area. Should probably move to my next task. Do a little bit more research. We just, uh, we did masonry. We just researched carpentry. Just trying to get uh, some, some books for some claim scrolls. So I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if we're going to make... So like in the last server, we used claim papers to back our currency. I'm not sure if we're going to do that again. It hasn't really been discussed yet, I don't think. So we probably should figure that out. Let's take all of you. I hit the wrong button there. I guess I could make some more mortar. Some more mortar. Um, do we have a place for storage? Sure. We do now, and it's right there. But we're up to 40 points from our food, which is pretty good for, you know, four hours in, in my opinion. But, you know, I'm no expert. But let's get some charred mortar on the go. Where is that? All right, so yeah, workshop. And, uh, what do we do with 70? No. 65? 64. That's a good little amount of mortar. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Going to work on the workshop smelting area now. I'll be back. All right, so I was thinking if I was going to take smelting, I should probably look at the smelting skill scroll and what does it take? Five of any basic. That's easy. Theology advanced. Okay, so that needs mortared stone. So we're working on mortared stone. We got some of that cooking up. Five dendrology advanced. That's just hewn logs, I believe, right? Yeah, so we got some of those. We can, we'll make more. We're going to need more, obviously. But that's easy. And metallurgy, basic, which needs just raw ore. So that means I had to find some iron. So I figured because ore is always, it's like, it's X number of levels below the surface, right? And because this is high and this is low, I'm decided to dig down here to try to find my iron. So let's, uh, I've already done it, but let's go take a look at uh, what I found and how far I went. And I actually made a, <laughs> a pretty interesting discovery over here that I will show as well. Um, so anybody who's on the server, um, this information is for you as well. So, but it's good to know this, the coal is here because this is kind of where I was planning to go anyway. But my extra little discovery was this, <laughs> just coal, just a whole big seam of coal, just wide open to the world. I don't know why, don't know how, but there it is. <laughs> and so here's where I dug down for iron and just boom, 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 down iron. Just like that, that quick, that easy, right? That's, that's kind of crazy. Actually, I was actually surprised it was this quick and easy to find. So we got our iron. So now we just need to, like I said, do the, uh, get the other, uh, research, uh, papers done and, uh, away we go. We will have smelting ready to go for tomorrow. We're looking at 18 hours, almost 19 hours for that skill point. So that should be easy. We might be able to even improve that a bit if we can get some furniture here. We do have a carpenter now. We do have a mason now, so I'll just have to get some furniture from them. 
and we can get uh, that skill down lower, but we still don't have an engineer, <laughs> which is a problem because I need the Arastra and the rocker box from them before I can, uh, before I can smelt. So until we have an engineer, smelting is not going to do a lot for me, but hey, that's a problem for future Luchar. Current Luchar is going to go grab this. This is an awful long walk just to grab a handful of sandstone. I could probably probably be faster to just mine the stuff. Kid, you need to, to frig off. So yeah, so I'm going to work on getting a skill scroll and then uh, work on getting a workshop and a smelting area on the go. I don't know if I'll get that all done tonight. I'll get some of it done, though, for sure. Anyway, I'll be back with probably, probably one more update here. See what else we can get done. It is getting late. It is midnight. But we'll get a little more done tonight. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. I'll be back. All right. Smelting scroll, I believe, is done. Or skill book, I guess, is done. Either way, it's done. <laughs> That's the important thing. And now I have the smelting skill. Now, I don't have the point for it just yet. And we don't have an engineer to build the stuff I need to smell things, but an important step is completed. So let's uh, we'll worry about the rest tomorrow. So I did actually get some furniture too. I have a latrine here. I have a chair there. And I have a bed there. So thank you, Kiwi, for the latrine and bed. And thank you, Josh, for the chair. It's a start. I'm, only, I'm getting four points from my house, but hey, that's four points I wasn't getting before. So I'm up to 45 total points. So we are looking at 15, almost 16 hours for my next skill point. So that's pretty good, I think. That's a pretty good pace for my second skill point, I feel. I did not get the workshop done. I did not get the smelting area done. But that will be tomorrow. Like I said, I was focusing on the smelting skill scroll, getting a little bit of furniture. Because that smelting skill scroll took a lot. There was a lot of, uh, a lot of iron, a lot of stone, a lot of wood. This ramp, here's the progress on this. I got this far. I realize now I'm going to have to clear all this out too. So that's a lot. And limestone, I'm not too keen on doing right now because with this tool, it takes two swings. <laughs> so I'm kind of avoiding mining limestone now if I can help it. I'm going to wait until I get my iron pick and then I'll come mine a bunch of limestone is the plan. But that's where we're at right now. I feel like we're in good shape. We had quite a few people log in today. Not many online now, but it is getting pretty late. Um, so obviously we're in day one. Uh, if you're watching this video, you know, the day or two after it goes live, we got lots of space. If you want to come join, we got a good group. Uh, well, I mean, there's some people that I don't know. They seem cool though. And uh, the people I do know from pre previous playthroughs, uh, we got a good group. Uh, just join my Discord. Links in the description down below. And the information you need to join the server will be there. Hope to see a few more people out. Like I said, uh, we got enough that we could kill the meteor with what we got, but the more the merrier. Um, we are clustered around this area, but there is lots of map, right? Like there's, there is lots of space left. Oh, who's over here? On owned. <laughs> I do not know who's set up over here. Oh, and I'm running Nader. Cool. All right, at any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, join my Discord. Most importantly, have a great day. Be good to each other. And I'll see you in the next one.